Hi, I'm Sumei Wahid, and I live in Seattle, Washington, and I work, and I'm on the board of Care Washington. Um, it's it's a fast-paced time. It's uh, it's a time we look forward to. Um, it's about elevating spiritually. It's also about gathering with community um, to break our fast um, and. It hasn't been possible recently because of the pandemic, but uh, it's certainly uh, part of the tradition at many, in many Muslim cultures. So it means a lot of those things. Um, but but for me, when I'm trying to prepare for it, it's 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 about that spiritual marathon. Get ready. <laughs> Yeah, so fasting um, for Muslims in Ramadan, it means uh, you don't eat from dawn to sunset. So the length of the fast depends on the length of the day and so the time of the year. Um, and typically you get up before dawn to eat a pre-dawn meal um, called sahur, or it's called other names in other cultures. Um, and, you know, sometimes as humans, we don't actually get up for that, but whether you do or not, you, you fast from dawn till sunset, and then after sunset, you break with iftar, and and in between, you don't eat, you don't drink, you don't smoke, um, all of those things break the fast. You cannot drink water during Ramadan, during your fast of Ramadan. Um, brushing your teeth, I think most of us do it. Uh, it's kind of necessary. Um, you just have to be really careful not to swallow any toothpaste or any water while you're, you know, rinsing your mouth out. So for me, the thirst is really what hits hardest. Um, so like watermelon, um, cucumbers. I don't know. I have all kinds of crazy cravings. I'll have like sugar cravings, carb cravings, soup. <laughs> it, it really just depends. Um, and sometimes when I have those like sugary cravings, as soon as I start to eat, like that just goes away. I just, uh, I really crave like once, once it's time to eat, I really want like nutritious, like fruit and, um, yeah, fruit and soup tends to be like what I like to eat first. <laughs> <laughs>